Hey friends, my name is Ornella Hernandez and I'm outside of the tent for the Future Blockchain Summit. It is a four day long event, part of Ditex Global going on in Dubai at the Dubai Harbor. I'm here on the ground talking to founders and attendees about what they think the future blockchain will look like. Let's see what they said. I believe we won't see blockchain as the first because now it's more like a hype, but it's a technology which uh, relies on the most fundamental things. I think overall what we have to look at Web3 is how can we better connect with our community? But going forward, I think ideally we want blockchain to evolve into the stage where it is like the underlying technology behind everything we do. I want the world to start contributing their compute power and the storage resources to the blockchain so that the blockchain which we, which we speak today is truly decentralized in nature. At the end of the day, the future of blockchain is keeping its a community. It's becoming faster and faster, the evolution of these tools. In general, the future of blockchain is, uh, is bright. I mean, the, the technology is here. For me, it was all around democratization of finance. It was about allowing people to participate. The future of blockchain is less sophisticated than it is now. The future of blockchain is to get to the place where you no longer really realize you're using blockchain. I would like to see more dialogue and engagement between investor, policymaker, and founders. You have your property in the Web3. You need to fill your property with wine as well. The real world asset tokenization is uh, one of the best use cases uh, moving forward. So we want the experience for gamers and whatnot to be as frictionless as possible. We envisage a future where we're running the most powerful artificial general intelligence tools ever invented on blockchain. Era of wireless payment. It's like when the you know credit cards came up with this wireless payment thing. It, it was adopted maybe very slowly in some places, whereas nowadays it's almost the standard. We're looking at the next step change in this area and, and this is going to be the, the standard in a few years. I do believe like there is no future where like blockchain technology is not seamlessly integrated in gaming. Like the future of gaming is all about user generated content. People making their characters, their levels, expanding their fairy games and to support that and the real digital economy you need uh, like uh, technologies and ensure that like, creators own their content. Across the four days a lot of the talk on the stages has been about gaming and how virtual experiences and metaverse experiences are going to drive engagement within the web industry when it comes to gaming, fashion, art, the culture side of the world. And of course what kind of conference is not complete without cars and racing? Let's go check out a racing game. Big theme this year is custody and the importance of your crypto custody. So this means basically safeguarding as much as possible your digital assets. And that's why big sponsors this year at the Future Blockchain Summit include Fireblocks and Bitco, for example. And hey, in a post-FTX world and during this bear market, I understand why people's main concerns are risk management, insurance, and compliance. It's these kinds of conferences that make me question what the world will look like if we use blockchain in our everyday lives. I have an optimistic outlook on this. Let's see what's going on next year at the Future Blockchain Summit, part of Jitex Global. My name is Ronella Hernandez, and make sure to check out the rest of the full interviews on Web3 TV. See you later, guys.